It should be our concern for the rights of British people to live freely and peacefully in those other parts of Europe. Somehow or the other, today we seem to be thinking of nothing but the rights of foreigners. <laughs> My Lord. My Lord. People of nationalities of other countries within the Union are foreigners. I, I thank the Noble Lord, and I'd just like to perhaps ask him to develop that argument a little further about protecting the rights of uh, UK citizens. What would he say to a UK citizen married perhaps to a German or a Dutch national uh, and now worried about their rights yeah. to remain, uh, to work and to live in this country? Yeah. <coughs> that, that is exactly what the Prime Minister has said, that we will look for an equitable solution, which, in my view, means that the rights of those who are currently resident here, although they are not British subjects, that they are citizens of the EU, should be kept. But, of course, so should the rights of British citizens living on it within the EU. Um, that's not a difficult matter. Why is everybody here today so excited about an amendment which looks after the foreigners and not the British? It's true. Quite right. Because I just would like to point out to the Noble Lord that the reason that the amendment is structured as it is because we are conscious of the, of the powers of the British government and the British government yes. is able to determine That's the right. lives of the EU citizens resident in this country but we are not able to determine the lives of our own citizens abroad but that yeah, does not yeah. mean to say we think any less of them and yeah, we are fighting yeah, for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So of course we don't have the power to do to look after our citizens overseas, uh, not in these days when we don't have many gunboats. Um, but, but, but we have a, an obligation to look after the rights of those people and to look after those rights first. And I think that the best way in which we can, in fact, preserve the rights of all those concerned, EU citizens here, our citizens on the continent is to allow the process of Section 50 to be proceeded with as expeditiously as possible to get the worries over and for a decent and proper arrangement to be made. And I only wish that European statesmen such as Mrs Merkel could come forward, perhaps arm in arm with Herr Juncker, to say that that is exactly what they want too. We don't need this amendment. It would, it would make life much more difficult in getting to that solution. Yeah. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. I, I'm sorry. It's the Labour Party's turn, and I suggest we hear from uh, the noble Baroness Lady Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. My, my Lords, I, I 